Hi, welcome back to Time with Tim. Uh, today we're talking about mission for leaders. Um, and in this post, I'll be talking about how I've improved my leadership by focusing on mission. So yesterday I briefly introduced you know, the, the, the flow for the week um, and my definition of mission, uh, which is that it's essentially sort of an extrapolation from your overall purpose, which may go on your whole life or beyond your own lifetime. A mission really is a sort of specific actionable yeah, sort of thing or a series of things, things that might be events or launches or, um, you know, sort of, uh, sorry, something popped up on my desktop, um, you know, sort of events that, you know, sort of progress you towards the purpose. So the way that I've improved my leadership is actually really quite sort of simple. It's given me focus. Um, most of my life, I've been somebody who's been more of sort of a jack of all trades, uh, <laughs> maybe a master of none, um, you know, than, than really sort of going long and deep as an expert on something. And even though I've picked now leadership for the last, you know, five years, a specific focus, um, you know, having been a headhunter and a recruiter for the, the sort of 10, 11 years previous to that, leadership is a vast topic. It's extremely complex and dense. And, you know, what I found immensely helpful is that saying, well, our mission is to apply a specific set of services to leaders who are striving to make the world better. Now that itself is still broad, but it's given me enough definition that I can test our strategy. I can test products that we want to develop and bring to market. I can test the way that we're going to evolve a service and say, okay, how is that going to advance the mission? And are we sticking to the mission in order to serve the broader purpose? So coaching as a short example, you know, if we're coaching someone and all we're doing is just asking them questions and seeing what they say, and if the person that we're coaching really could come from anywhere and be doing anything, um, then that isn't really advancing the mission. So the way that we choose to coach as an organization is that we ask questions and we very much focus on the potential of the person that we're doing, but we focus that potential around how are they going to impact the world how are they going to make their life better and how are they going to lead better? Um, and that we interject our own experience anecdotally to give them markers and reference points for how they can move forward. Uh, and a lot of the time, you know, we find that, you know, we've got experience ourselves that overlaps or, you know, we can sympathize because we've had a similar challenge, you know, or we can empathize because we're going through, you know, exactly the same, you know, sort of striving uh, right now. Um, so having a mission brings focus, allows you to test, should I, shouldn't I do this every time? So the question that I would now bring to you is, how are you going with defining your purpose, which we discussed last week? Uh, did you do that wrapping it around a value set that you developed from the previous week? And even if you don't feel like you're there yet, but at least you've got a notion of what your purpose is and what your values are, now have a go at, you know, sort of condensing that down and giving yourself something tangible, you know, and say, okay, my mission is this, and this is what I'm going to focus on for the next couple of years, or the next three months, or the next decade. So that might be a product launch. You know, my purpose is, you know, to make work more enjoyable. My mission is to focus on having a, a tool, maybe a piece of software that improves productivity so people can get more done in the workday and have more time at home for their own personal interests and their wives and their kids and their families and what have you, right? Purpose, make work more fun. Mission, productivity, allowing better work-life balance, as an example. So have a go. I'd love to see some comments and, and, and thoughts on what people are, are, are feeling You know, their mission might be. Uh, tomorrow, we'll talk about specific anecdotes of leaders that I've worked with and how they've used mission to propel their purpose and to in improve their leadership. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow.